Hey you makers, it's Nico with Umake, and for this week's Tuesday tutorial, we're going to talk about the playground. If you haven't spent much time in the playground, uh, definitely check it out. It has a lot of really cool content that you can look at uh, and that you can use in your scenes to help you work faster. One of my favorite is the 2D people. This is really great for architecture. Uh, the other very helpful uh, group is primitives, and these have both 2D primitives and 3D primitives. I want to talk a little bit about working with objects that you find in the playground. So to drag an object into your scene, first open up the group that you want to look in and then find the object that you want to drag in your scene. I have a sphere here. If you tap on any of these uh, objects, they'll download onto your iPad and then you can drag the object into your scene. So here I have dragged the sphere into the scene. And you can see uh, when I drag this into the scene, I have two components to the sphere. I have the surface and I also have the curve. And what I wanted to show you is when you double tap on any of these uh, objects from the playground, they are automatically grouped. So if you want to work with them, you're going to need to ungroup them. So to do that, tap ungroup. And now you have the curve separate and the surface is separate. The reason that the curves are left in some of the objects is so that you can use them to uh, work faster or rebuild something. So say for example, I wanted to make another sphere really quickly. I could take this arc and I could drag it over. I could scale it up and very quickly I can make another sphere. So that's just one, one way, one of the reasons that I left the curve in was to enable you to reuse that curve multiple times. In addition, if I wanted to duplicate this curve, for example, I can make a duplicate of it and then I can uh, edit it. And if I wanted to make a different shape, something like this, for example, I can edit that curve. I can make another revolved surface and now as you can see, we have something totally different. So that's the reason why I leave the curves in. And that's one of the easy ways that you can work with playground assets. I hope this tutorial is helpful. Definitely check out the playground. It's uh, a lot of really great content, over 200 uh, pre-made objects where you're adding to it all the time. And if you have any requests for content that we should put in the playground, let us know in the comments below uh, and reach out to us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Take care guys. Have a great week.